Good morning guys, welcome back to another video with me. If you are new here, my name is Amy and I am in the middle of my potato reset. I've just finished one week and I'm about to roll it out and do another week of potato reset because I'm loving it so, so much. Um, so a little backstory about me, I have lost 60 pounds following the starch solution and using the principles of low calorie density over the last couple of years. Um, I am totally in love with this way of food. I get to eat massive volumes, always delicious, no counting calories or restriction or anything. Um, and it's given me so much more than just weight loss. It's given me energy and almost like a zest for life, to be honest. So anyway, I wanna show you everything I am eating today, potato and vegetable wise, obviously. I am joined here, oh my goodness me. All right, Rams. <laughs> I am joined here by my little tiny Rami, who is one and who is very, very snotty at the moment. She woke up at four o'clock again, um, poor little thing, but luckily my husband did the, did the early morning this morning. Um, so I want, yes, I want to show you everything I am eating today. So I want to start off by saying I'm not hungry in the slightest. It is 10 o'clock and I am still stuffed. So I have a confession to make I guess is that I snuck into the kitchen last night after my rebounding and I ate one more of those twice baked spinach potatoes because they were so darn delicious so naughty me uh, anyway so it goes without saying I'm still stuffed couldn't eat a single thing at, like probably for another couple of hours at least at least I have loads of things that I need to eat um, that's in the fridge, like leftovers. I've got leftover soup, I've got twice baked spinach potatoes, I've got loads of sweet potatoes, so I've got stuff I need to eat, uh, but I'm not hungry yet. So, I mean, potatoes are so, so, so satisfying. So, potatoes are obviously super low calorie density, which means that you can have a massive volume of potatoes for uh, relatively low calories. So, I I'm so stuffed, basically. I'm absolutely stuffed and satisfied. And it, last night's dinner was delicious. Anyway, I'm going to move on from that. So um, I'm just sipping on a quick little tea. And then I was going to take Romy out to the library yesterday, but it was closed. So I'm going to take her out this morning because they close at 12.30. It's 10 o'clock now. She is obsessed with reading. She just keeps on bringing us books at the moment. So I'm going to take her out to the library. I know I'm not going to need any food at all. I'm not even going to take any food. I do always take food with me when I leave the house, but I guarantee that I'm not going to need any food at all because I'm absolutely stuffed. Um, so I'm going to go out for an hour or so. It's not going to be long because Robbie's tiny. She'll probably get bored in about half an hour, so that's perfect. Um, and then we'll come back and then I may think about some food. But anyway, starting it with a tea and... I'll chat to you guys when I actually eat something. But I hope you guys are doing well on your potato reset. If you guys are joining me for this week of potatoes, let me know down below because I'd love to see who's getting involved. Um, I'm super sorry I don't reply to your comments. I'm so sorry I just don't have the time at the moment. Um, I've got so much other stuff like editing takes so long at night and obviously I'm a mum so I'm really sorry but I do read all your comments so let me know because I'll always go through them and I try and heart them where I can. Um, that's like to say that I've read it. Um, so let me know if you guys are joining me and let me know if you guys are bored of potatoes, loving potatoes, keep me updated. Um, obviously you guys can keep potato reset super simple and just have steamed boiled potatoes or you can mix it up and do so many different creative things with it. Um, and you know, it's totally up to you. However, I do want to chat about the calorie density of the different ways of cooking potatoes later because um, potatoes in and of themselves have loads of different calorie densities depending on what you do with it. And I will, ex I will explain that in a little bit. Hopefully, if I remember. Anyway, chat to you later. Hello again. So I just wanted to give you a quick little update. It is one o'clock and I have not forgotten to film anything. I have just been not hungry still. I don't know what's going on. I'm very surprised, to be honest. I thought I would have eaten something by now, but I am honouring my hunger fullness cues. Not because I'm trying to, because I'm genuinely still not hungry. So, I mean, I don't know, I must have eaten loads last night. I'm not quite sure why I was so hungry. Um, maybe because I started bouncing the day before. Like, I'm not, I'm not quite sure what's going on. But basically, I must have eaten loads last night. I know I didn't honor my, honor my hunger fullness cues properly last night. And I definitely had a bit more than I probably needed. That's, you know, and that happens sometimes. But today, it's not like I've woken up and regardless of whether I was hungry, I started stuffing my face. I am listening to my body and I'm asking it. Well, thing is... I am hungry for certain things, like I was thinking about the chocolate pudding 
that I had the other day with the sweet potato uh, maple glazed stuff dipped in. And I was like, oh, I could definitely eat that. But if I think about a plain potato and some broccoli, I, that does not interest me in the slightest. So that is how I know I am not hungry yet. The first thing I'm going to do today, because I know I ate quite a lot yesterday, is I'm going to break my fast with a massive amount of delicious vegetables. And I know I'm going to be hungry because I'm going to be hungry for those vegetables. I hope that makes sense. I'm not going to make that big chocolate pudding and the sweet potato things and just stuff my face with that. I'm going to wait until I'm hungry enough to eat my vegetables. And I'm not hungry enough to eat my vegetables just yet. Anyway, I'm honouring my hunger fullness cues in true potato-y style. Um, so, anyway, that was just my quick little update. I don't know when... Doesn't Mommy look cute, by the way? Her hair keeps going in her face. Um, and so we just bought this. And I'm just trying to, like, get her used to having it on her head. I'm not really, like, a fluffy person, but she literally needs it to get her hair off her face. Otherwise, she just walks around like that and she can't see anything. Can you little cute pie? We had a lovely time at the library. We did loads of reading. Oh, yeah. oh dear, are you playing peekaboo? Let's do it. Look, and then let me show you. We put it like, whoa, look at that. What a sexy little rum rum. Why you little cute pie? Um, so yes, I'm not gonna make any food yet. Although actually maybe I should make my vegetables just so that when I'm ready for them, they are there. Okay, so I've started making my veggies. It's 1.30. And Romy was getting hungry, so I've just put her some food together. Oh, I'll show you what I've got, I've got for her. She's just got some leftover ricey tofu, broccoli, and courgette carrot stir fry, and loads of berries. And I'm also gonna be giving her um, some courgettes later as well, and some carrot. Uh, so I'll show you what I decided to put together. I have just got, oh my gosh, a full head of broccoli and like half a cabbage in there. Uh, obviously with soy sauce and garlic as per usual. Um, so actually that is gonna be like a preloader, uh, I've decided because I feel like I didn't, I don't really remember yesterday very much, but I feel like I probably didn't have enough vegetables or I didn't have loads of vegetables. And I really wanna start upping my vegetable intake just so I don't, I don't know what happened. I don't know why I went, got too excited with all the potatoes last night. Um, and it's absolutely fine to do, but I wanna make sure that I am honoring my hunger fullness cues to the best of my ability. And the way I'm gonna do that is by adding in loads of extra veggies. So I'm gonna start with that, those veggies right there. And I'm also going to enjoy this carrot while it's cooking. So I'm gonna have that carrot while I feed Roms. But then, then comes the main meal, right? So for the main meal, I'm gonna do some crispy courgettes and some sweet potato, I think. I'm just gonna keep it simple. I might do one Hawaiian sweet potato and one just regular sweet potato. So anyway, that's my kind of food ideas. I know it sounds like a really strange thing to say, but this carrot is really hitting the spot. <laughs> mm. I mean, it's just a carrot, but it's got crunch. There's actually so much sweetness. Mm. Have you ever truly stopped to appreciate a carrot before? Like, I'm quite hungry now, it's like two o'clock, so. This carrot is incredible. If anyone wants to see Romy go to town in her lunch, she's done a really good job. She's just shoveling it in. Okay, guys, I've got my gigantic pile of veggies. And I'm actually really excited about this. Soy sauce and garlic makes everything taste amazing. I don't know why all my veggies are not covered in this stuff. Mmm. So it's a very boring cabbage. It's just something I could eat every single day, or that I do eat every single day. Mmm. If you're having trouble um, getting in touch with your hunger fullness cues, there you go, baby girl. Yeah, if you're having trouble getting in touch with your hunger fullness cues, ask yourself, are you hungry enough to eat vegetables? Mmm. If the answer is no, you're not hungry. If the answer is yes, then go and eat those vegetables. So, sometimes I forget and I have to remind myself that vegetables are everything and key. I get carried away, but get those vegetables in your 
Okay, so I finished those veggies. Um, and honestly, if I had made double, I would have eaten double. They were so delicious. Oh, I can't even tell you how delicious it was. <laughs> like, I love vegetables like there's nothing else. When you've been eating this way for a long time, you do actually start to fall in love with vegetables and with simple ways of eating. Like, it was just so tasty. Anyway, uh, Romy also ate loads of my broccoli and loads of the cabbage, and that makes me so happy because I want her to grow up thinking that these foods are all so magical. So anyway, that is just such a benefit of this way of eating. When you've got little ones, let them watch you eat healthy, healthy stuff and then share it with them. Let it be a lovely bonding experience <laughs> over a bowl of broccoli and cabbage. <laughs> anyway, right, serious stuff now. I'm gonna make some food um, because I am still hungry. As I said, I would have eaten more of those veggies, but there was no more veggies. Couldn't eat them. So I've decided I actually, I was going to have sweet potatoes with crispy courgettes, but I really want something else instead. Remember what I was talking about earlier? I was talking about my chocolate pudding with the little fries. Right, so I'm, I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it. Romy will love the chocolate pudding as well. I've got loads of sweet potatoes. And uh, let's, just, let's just do this. So let me see if I can... Ooh. And I only have one more purple sweet potato that I didn't bake in the oven. So the rest of those are still waiting for me. Uh, but I'm going to slice this bad boy up. Cinnamon, tiny bit of maple syrup into the air fryer to, oh my gosh, no, sweet potato down. The really thin strips, um, and then I'm gonna make my chocolate pudding, and then I'm gonna show you, and I'm also, oh, muffins. I need to put this in the air fryer, and the courgettes in the air fryer. That's a tricky decision. I wish I, you know what, maybe I need two air fryers. Like, Jen, what, are you, what have you got? Oh, strawberry. I need two air fryers, this is really hard. Okay, I'm going to do the, mm, 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 mm. okay, if I do what I want, I'm going to cook the sweet potato first, but if I do what is right, I'm going to cook the courgettes first. So I'll cook the courgettes first, and then I want, yes, because I want these to be like super crisp, delicious. Right, let's do this. If you missed how I do my crispy courgettes, they're very simple, but they are one of the most incredible vegetables I've ever eaten in my life, ways of cooking it anyway. So literally just chop them up, and I've just gone with garlic salt and really in all honesty so much nooch because it's delicious so see how it's almost turned into like kind of like a a breadcrumb kind of consistency going on here anyway um i was just dancing around while i was making this and i know on my instagram i do a lot of dancing while i'm making food i don't do it for instagram i mean i know i do it for instagram but i genuinely dance around while i'm cooking i have music on in the background and I'm just dancing around, singing along, and Romy's dancing with me. So for anyone who's like, oh, she's, she's putting that on. She doesn't usually dance around the kitchen. I genuinely do dance all day long. So anyway, whack this in the air fryer, then we'll get cracking with the pudding. I also sing quite a lot, but I am not ready to share that with you guys. <clears throat> okay, so I got a bit extra snacky before I could wait for everything to cook. So. I thought I'd just dive into one of these purple sweet potatoes and eat it from cold. Um, a lot of you guys said it's nice, cold from the fridge, and you are absolutely right. Mm. If I close my eyes, it's a piece of cake. It's so yummy. I'm not a massive fan of the skin. Um, oh no, let me try it with the skin. Mm, actually, it's nice. Do you want some more? Romy's also loving it. But anyway. Thanks for the recommendation. Cold from the fridge is delicious. I want to show you what I've got going on in this absolutely mad kitchen. Okay, first things first. I'm just about to blend up my chocolate pudding and this is three massive sweet potatoes. Oh, <laughs> Romy wants to do some more reading. I'm coming, my little Rom Rom. Come here, baby girl. So three massive sweet potatoes, about a third cup of cocoa powder, a teaspoon of vanilla, and then like just a little splash of soy milk just to get it turning in the blender. Uh, not loads, so probably like a quarter of a cup or something. Anyway, I'm just about to blend that up and I'm very excited. I also have my Hawaiian sweet potato all sliced up. See how I've done it super, super nice and thin. I also like to keep them really long because it's quite fun. Um, and then I've just put loads of cinnamon and a little bit of maple syrup and I've just like mixed it in so it's all coated in the maple syrup. Um, so that is just about to go in the air fryer and what's about to come out of the air fryer is these crispy courgettes which are actually crispier than ever. Oh my god, Ooh, look at that. 
Oh, look at the crispiness of. Mmm, mmm. Did you hear that? Did you hear that crunch? If you guys haven't tried these, they are so simple. See how it's kind of turned, the nooch has turned into like breading. Mmm, right. These are coming out. Those are going in, putting what we made. And I'll show you when I put it together. I just had to show you this chocolate pudding because look at that. That makes me so, so, so excited. It's just like silky, smooth, thick, chocolatey goodness. Where's my spoon? Where's my, what? whoa, ah, here's my spoon. So I am actually obsessed with this. Look how thick and delicious that is. Like, which is my best batch because I chose the sweetest, most delicious sweet potatoes and I tasted them beforehand to make sure they were super sweet. Romy wants some more chocolate pudding, which is why she's a little bit squeaky. She's nearly saying more. What do you think? Is that nice? Mm. Mm. Do you love it? Should I do some more? Oh, ham. The yum. <laughs> more. Okay, so I've made exactly the same thing as I did last time. And I've forgotten how good it was, okay? So... It's hard to convey how incredible these chips are. Like, Romy's just playing with an empty coffee thing and she's very tired, so I apologize about the squeaking. Um, so these are absolutely incredible. They taste like um, caramel. I don't even, I'm not even sure, but they taste so good, it's ridiculous. So this is just the purple sweet potato with cinnamon and a little bit of maple syrup, but it goes, mmm. I don't know how they go so crispy. I have to order some more of these immediately. This is definitely my favorite thing to do with them. I mean, baking them is nice, but this is incredible. Oh, guys. Mm. And, obviously, when you pair it with the chocolate sauce. Mm. I know I've already had this, but it's that good. I could have it every single day for the rest of my life. Anyway, I need to run out the door in like, oh, Jesus Christ, five minutes. Have I even got time to eat this? Right, I need to take a nice photo as well. So I'm going to go and do this like super pronto. So I have put my plate together. I'm not going to have time to eat it all now, but I'm going to eat some now and some when I get back. But anyway, this is my most delicious plate in the entire universe. It actually encompasses all of my favorite things. Crispy courgettes, fries, and chocolate pudding. Oh my goodness. And obviously remember I had that massive pile of veggies beforehand. I think I ate purple sweet potato as well. So anyway, I am going to eat some of this for two minutes and then I'm going to quickly rush out the door. Um, but ho, 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 I cannot believe how lucky I am. Um, I feel like I'm almost getting too creative with the potato reset and I need to like hone it back and make some more boring food because this is just too interesting. So I ran out of time. I ate my courgettes at home. I am bringing some of these with me en route. Oh my gosh, so yum. You guys literally have to try these as soon as possible. But I was wondering, I'm wondering whether I'm making my food too tasty. Um, I know with the potato reset, really, you're meant to reset your taste buds by keeping it kind of boring and bland. And I don't feel like I'm doing that at all. I feel like I'm making my food really exciting, like way too exciting. Now, obviously, part of the potato reset is that potatoes in and of themselves are fantastic for weight loss. So that part's perfect. But the other part is you're meant to get a bit bored of your food. I think a little bit anyway. Um, so therefore, you're not like super excited to eat it. And therefore, you really do on your hunger fullness cues. But when you make stuff like this and the chocolate pudding, it is so darn tasty. I don't even know if that qualifies as being potato reset. I mean, it does, but I mean, on another level, <laughs> it really makes you keep coming back for more. So I maybe I need to find a balance between just a regular boring potato and then the exciting stuff, but I'm gonna mull that over and get back to you guys. Mm, that was a gorgeous bath. I just love, 
oh I love bath times especially solo bath times are very special let me know if anybody else does not shave their legs in the winter time that's me uh I'm very naughty that way um <clears throat> so it is about five o'clock and I haven't really properly made dinner yet I'm kind of in the middle of it but Fridays are a little bit more relaxed because the kids don't have to go to bed at any specific time and we're having family movie night which tonight means a Christmas movie so that'll be really fun um <clears throat> so we are having mash tonight <clears throat> as per Abe's little meal plan the other from the other day um so I'm just doing mash broccoli and they're gonna have some sweet corn and I don't have any gravy so it's gonna be like a little bit basic but actually after the exciting food day I've had that's probably a really good idea um so I did not eat all the chips and I did not eat all the pudding just so you know I was actually really full um, so I think I probably ate about two thirds of the chips and maybe like a third of the pudding. So three sweet potatoes went into that pudding. So I probably ate about one sweet potatoes worth. So and then half a sweet potato from there. So about one and a half sweet potatoes. And I had the purple sweet potato from the fall. So, so far, two and a half sweet potatoes. But I mean, they're pretty decently sized <clears throat> and all those veggies. So that's pretty good. And I'm actually not hungry yet. Uh, despite I the fact that I am making food for everybody, I'm actually not hungry. I think I'm just going to chug a massive glass of water because I'm a little bit thirsty. Uh, and then I'm going to wait it out. Although I love hot mash. Leftover mash is not the same as mash. I don't mind if you turn it into stuff, but leftover mash is just not the same as a fresh hot mash. So let's just see. We'll see how I feel. <clears throat> um, anyway, that's a little food update from me. And remember my working out <clears throat> thing that we were chatting about? The other day so um i am going to be doing my bouncing tonight and the way that i'm going to prepare for that obviously i've just had a bath so i could have done it before the bath but there was no time really because james only just finished work <clears throat> and he wants to go in the bath anyway blah 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 um so i'm gonna make sure that i do my bouncing by getting in my workout gear right now so i don't forget then when i'm in my workout gear before i even have a chance to go and get my jammies on i know that it's time for a bounce <clears throat> then i'm going to do my bounce Again, remember, it doesn't matter how long or how short it is. It's just about getting into the habit of doing some bouncing every single day. Again, let me know if you guys are joining in with any kind of, to be fair, it doesn't even have to be exercise, with any kind of habit building exercise. Um, <clears throat> habit building thing, it could, be, it could be working out or exercise, it could be walking. It could be having oats every single day. It could be having one potato every day. It could be having one head of broccoli every day. If you get into the habit of something, that is what it's all about. And then you build loads of little habits on top of each other over time. And that is how you see incredible results. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, let me know if you guys are building any habits that you are doing on a daily basis with me this month. I am doing bouncing every single day this month. Or I will let you know if I'm very naughty and I don't but hopefully I will be doing it every month, uh, every day. Anyway, I'm going to get changed and go downstairs and be with my crazy family, and I'll show you when I eat some kind of food. Also, I wanted to say there's so many new people that have joined this channel, so I just wanted to say, if you're one of those people, or even if you've been with me for a while, I just want to say thank you so much. It's just incredible, and it actually blows my mind that people want to watch my crazy ramblings and food combinations and stuff. Um, so I just want to say thank you so much for sticking around and for... Um, for wanting to watch my crazy content. I really, really appreciate it. And I love you all from the bottom of my heart. Okay, guys. So I'm joined by my two gorgeous little babies who are enjoying their dinner. Um, I wanted to show you what I've got. I decided when I came down, it's been about 45 minutes. I'm getting quite hungry. So, and the mash looked so delicious, but I am pairing it with loads of veg. We do not have loads of veg in the house at the moment. I think this is the last of our veg, actually. Uh, we had one broccoli that we shared between us. Oh, hold on. Romy is desperate for some more mash and she cannot get it herself. Here, Rom Rom. Mmm. No, 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 no. Is that nice? Here, look. You can have another batch. Oh, baby girl. Romy loves broccoli so much, but this is piping hot, so she can't have it yet. I've got to give it a cool boo boo. It's hot, hot. Um, so, uh, yes. Anyway, so I've got loads of mash, probably like two cups maybe two and a half cups um and then i've got a mm, little bit of broccoli i would have had more but i had to share with everybody unfortunately and i've got uh two tomatoes and two carrots there so i'm going to eat my veggies first see how much of the mash i fancy getting through but that is a fantastic 50 50 weight loss plate right there anyway i'm going to go and stuff my face this mash is absolutely delicious mm. Mm -hmm -hmm. but yes i'm gonna eat my veggies first mm -hmm. So it is, it is 8.30 and I just thought I'd uh, have a little catch up with you guys and let you know 
Oh, but I was tough. So, um, in terms of dinner, I ate all my veggies. They were very yummy. I love the mash, but I wasn't hungry for all, so I left some of it. Let me show you what I left. Uh, not loads. I left that much. And I haven't eaten those. I, so I've eaten, eaten like two thirds of it. And uh, it looks like I've eaten loads of chocolate pudding, but in fact I haven't. That was Abe. Abe absolutely loves, to be fair, Abe and Romy. Abe and Romy both love this chocolate pudding. And every time I make it, as soon as they see it, they dive into it. And I don't know if you know, there was like loads there. And I really didn't have that much. So they've stuffed their faces with that at Abe. <laughs> It was really cute. You know, that's one of the reasons why I really enjoy doing this potato reset because it makes me get creative with making some new fun recipes. And I know this one is one I'm going to keep on rotation uh, for me and for the kids because it's just what a fantastic way of having chocolate pudding. And also, I swear, it's incredible. It would be brilliant as like icing on a cake or like a cupcake or something. So every time for birthdays or whatever going forwards, that is what I'm going to use for icing. Obviously you can mix up the flavor, you can literally do anything with it, but um, yeah, that's my new icing and I'm just oh, so excited about it. It's thick and it's like really spreadable and stuff. So if you guys have a cake coming up, I will tell you what, when it's somebody's birthday next, uh, or maybe just for Christmas, I will make a cake. Um, like a proper cake and I'll do this as the icing and I'll film it for you guys so you can see anyway so that was food wise so I feel like I've I mean I'm not super hungry that was it I don't really know um, I've had loads of veggies today and I think that was the main difference to keep me super satisfied is those added veggies really hit the spot so that's brilliant um so as you can see I'm in my workout stuff um because I'm going to go and do a bounce I am moderately into it. I was kind of sitting on the couch, snuggly in front of the TV, doing some, well, we were watching a family Christmas movie. We were watching Home Alone, which is the first time Abe has ever watched it. And I didn't think he was gonna like it, but he actually loved it. So yay, although he fell asleep halfway through. Um, anyway, so then I realized I needed to go and do my bouncing. So I already had my leggings on. I decided not to take those off. Um, after the bath, I kept them on to remind me to do my workout. So anyway, so I'm gonna go and do my bouncing now. But I did wanna say one of, the, oh, one of the things that I find super helpful about working out at night is that if I know I'm gonna be working out at night, I don't overeat. And that sounds strange. And I know a lot of people like working out in the morning, but I actually really enjoy it at night. Otherwise, <clears throat> I may have the tendency to overeat and just go for it. <clears throat> so the things I can put in place to make sure that doesn't happen, but it is really handy. Oh, hold on. It is really handy for me to work out at night because if I know I've got a workout coming, I do not want to be extremely, extremely full for that workout. Otherwise, it's going to be a really rubbish workout. Like yesterday, for example, it was quite full. Not going to lie, um, and it was a much less enjoyable workout because I was just really stuffed. Uh, but tonight I had just a really good amount of food and it means I kind of have a bit more energy for working out. So that's, that's something that's, I found really helpful. Oh, that was a very intense workout. So it was half an hour of intermediate to pretty advanced bouncing. And I realized how unfit I am. <laughs> um, I did a reasonable amount of walking and some running and some bouncing before I went away to India. But honestly, in the last month and a half, I've basically done nothing. And I realized how out of shape I am. I was absolutely knackered. However, I did really enjoy it and I don't regret doing it at all. And I love that feeling after a workout when you feel sweaty, you know, oh, that was a really good one. That's such a lovely feeling. But I definitely am out of out of shape a little bit, just in terms of my my fitness and how much I can do. Um, I found myself getting tired towards the end of that one. And I know usually with that workout, I would have been able to smash it out and then do extra bouncing afterwards. So anyway, uh, but I did want to say that one of the reasons I love rebounding so much, not only is it fun, you can literally do anything with it. You can do a serious workout. You can do weights on it. You can do more dancey stuff on it. You can literally do anything on it. You can do your own thing on it. You can literally just stand on it and bounce around. You can run on it. You can use it to do stuff. But I also love the convenience of it. 
you know, with kids, I don't have the time to go to the gym, do a workout and then come back. That would literally take too long, but I can bring my rebounder down and bounce for 10 minutes and then put it back up again. So a rebounder is so fantastic. I mean, you don't need to have a rebounder. You can do calisthenics, you can jog on the spot, you can do a, you can do hula hooping, skipping, literally you can do anything, but rebounding is just so fun to me. I feel like a little kid when I'm bouncing on the trampoline. And um, yeah, anyway, I really love it. So if you guys are thinking about what kind of exercise to do or getting into working out or something, definitely check out the rebounder. Maybe it's for you, maybe it's not, um, but I really love it. Um, I mean, in terms of working out, you should really do the workouts that you love. If you're trying to do a workout that you don't enjoy, then don't do it. Find a way of working out that you really do enjoy, whether that is literally just dancing around in your kitchen vigorously for an hour, then go for it, do that. Hula hooping, like I said, like get, get creative, um, but rebounding is really fun. For me anyway oh i loved it but i'm out of shape um but um bum 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 what else did i want to say mm. don't remember now oh well well i hope you guys have enjoyed this video and um i will be um showing you everything i eat tomorrow obviously um i hope you've enjoyed it and i'll see you guys in the next one bye